When Blake uh, Jackson came to me as a freshman, uh, he uh, uh, hadn't done any academic work yet, but he came to my office and uh, really wanted to understand what might be involved with developing his leadership and service skills. So uh, that, that impressed me a little bit as a freshman, uh, that someone would come in and take that initiative. Over the next few semesters, uh, academically, he did extremely well. So having expressed a desire to be a leader and, a, and in service to other students, and then with his academic work, uh, he plowed right in uh, to, to support the other students in our college in some really key leadership positions. Uh, he continued to develop his skills, and uh, as a result of that, uh, we selected him to be the Ag Legislative Intern uh, for the legislative session of 2011 in the spring. So he spent the entire semester at the legislature. Uh, in that position, I think it's uh, noteworthy that he really represented the whole student body uh, because the legislators look at that uh, OSU student as representing uh, all students at Oklahoma State University, and he did an outstanding job. OSU has prepared me for my future by giving me opportunities that I don't think I could have gotten at any other school. The faculty here really just push you to the next level and they see the potential that each student has. And they give you the tools to take it to the next level. They sort of unlock your potential, I guess, is a lack of a better way of saying it. And I don't, the sense of family at this university is something that I'm really appreciative of. And you know, my family back home always says, you've made yourself at home at this university, and that's really influenced my decision to actually stay here for graduate school, so. Graduating from Oklahoma State University, it's, it's a brand. We had the homecoming, the homecoming motto of you know, branded for life, and I think you know, that was a couple of years ago, but still I think that just rings true to what it means to be an OSU Cowboy. Because no matter where you're at in the nation, if you have that OSU emblem on, and you see an alum, they're going to recognize you right off the bat. And I was in Washington, D.C., and there was a guy with an OSU shirt on, on the Metro, and we had a 10-minute conversation just about living in Stillwater and graduating from OSU and just how, how much of a good place this is and how this provides you with so many opportunities that you wouldn't think of otherwise. And just being a part of a family, and that's something that you're branded for life with. This here was taken last summer at the Udall Scholars Conference in Tucson, Arizona. And it was really neat to be part of an OSU community here because here I'm pictured with Flint Holbrook, who was the other scholar of that year, an alum, Sarah Jane Smallwood, who was a past Udall Scholar, and Gil Gilliland, who is Dr. Grawman, Dr. Bob Grawman in the OSU Office of Scholar Development, his assistant. And she really has been a big help in putting all of our applications together and getting things going smoothly and it was just part of being part of an OSU community representing our university at a larger scale and it meant a lot. This was taken sophomore year. We were selected as top 10 freshmen based off of our achievements um, through this freshman year and this is taken with uh, Haley Baumgardner, Ryan Ramsire, Carly Schneichman, Randy Gordon and Amy Peel, now Truett. And these were the other people in the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources who received the honor with me. And it was really neat to see all of us kind of come together as our own little family within the OSU family and receive that honor. Here I am pictured with several legislators at the state capitol along with uh, former OSU President uh, Jim Halligan. And this was right after they announced I had received both the Truman and the Udall scholarships. And it was really neat because they surprised me. They told me, just get your jacket on, we're going to a meeting. And I thought, you know, there's no meeting today scheduled. So we go downstairs and I get the surprise announcement. And there's another picture of me having a shocked look on my face. But that was really neat to get surprised and to have that told to me in the state capitol, which was a first for an LSU student. So.